Today I'm going to be seeing how strong our little friend the red roll plug is. Welcome back to Goss with Handyman. So a little while ago I built this pull force measuring jig. It's simply for working out how much force you can apply to pulling a screw out of an object. So I wanted to carry out that measurement on a few different things. So the first thing I'm going to test it on is going to be our trusty red plugs here. So red wall plugs, commonly called uh, wall plugs or anchors or sometimes get called roll plugs as well, although roll plug is a brand. I'm using Fisher plugs here. I mainly use branded ones because you can get a proper spec sheet on them and you can look at the quoted specs of what sort of forces these things can withstand and also what size screw you're supposed to use, what size hole you're supposed to use for them and stuff like that. So, but these trusty little red plugs are probably one of the most commonly used wall plugs in the UK. I'm not sure about the rest of the planet, obviously, but in the UK, red plugs get used everywhere in many situations where they just shouldn't be used as well, but that's another whole kettle of fish. I'm just intrigued as to what you can push these little fellas up to. So I'm going to try them in three different materials. I'm going to try them in a concrete block. So that's kind of a medium to high density concrete block that I've got there. Uh, I've also got a lightweight aerated block. So that's kind of like a breeze block type thing. And also a household facing brick as well, just to see Get a bit of a range of how much force one of these little plugs can withstand. So just to go through some of the specs first of all. Or should I do that at the end? No, let's just crack on. Let's do the red plug, one red plug in the concrete block to start off with. Let's see what that is capable of withstanding. Why is that light suddenly flashing? Oh, I've got a tube on the way out. No. You twat. So this is red plug into a concrete block. Right, so we're up to 50 so far. Just let that stabilize. See what's happening here is that the washer is bending a bit. There's no sign of the plug coming out. I mean, this thing goes up to 300 kilos. So we're stabilizing there. 102, 100, 101, it's the washer bending, and when that washer snaps it's going to go bam. Let's try a bit more. It's a washer that's going to go, not the plug, I'll tell you that much. Right, I'm around this side, I can't see what we're getting up to. What are we up to now? 123 kilos on one red plug. Let's go for it until something breaks. It's hard to say what's gonna break first. There is no sign of that plug coming out. What are we up to now? 145, 143. Let me just show you at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. Plug's still not really coming out at all. No sign of that plug budging. So we're sitting pretty steady at 133 kilos of force on one single red plug. Let's go a bit more. I don't want to break my scales. What are we at now? 182 kilos. 
68. Is it going to stabilize? Is it going to go bang? Oh, you do. I'm getting a bit nervous here. <laughs> Let me just dust off my face shield. The face shield's going. It's steaming up and I can't actually see what I'm doing with the face shield on. We, we got past 200 kilos there. It's just starting to, to pull, but there's only about, what, two mil of the plug has come out of the surface, so I cannot go beyond that. I'm going to break my scales. As much as I rate it to 300 kilos, and the other thing is that me uh, nut at the top here, this bit of wood's going to snap if, <laughs> if I put any more force on it. This nut's already got itself well embedded into the wood. 200 kilos. We're stabilizing again, 150 thereabouts. But that's not bad for one single red plug. Right, let's loosen this off. Right, let's take this out so you can just see. <laughs> right, the reason this is having problems coming out is because the screw is actually a little bit bent. Let's just try and... These are carbon steel screws. They're really, really strong screws. And I don't know if you can see, it just, it's bent the screw a little bit. Obviously the washer's really bent. The plug has come out by, I would say by about a millimeter and a half. There was no way that that was gonna come out any further. Right, let's try. The lightweight block. Go here. Give it a little, little clean out just to be consistent. Right, let's see how the lightweight block fares. Right, let's go for it. So, red plug into a lightweight concrete block this time. So again, I'm just gonna tighten it up a bit and then, uh, oh, I can actually feel that's starting to go already to be honest. Let's see where it stabilizes. 26. Keep going. You can see it's definitely pulling out. It's just what I'm intrigued about as to whether or not it's gonna come out or whether it's going to stabilize at a particular figure. I'll just wait for a second and see if because it might just keep going down and down until that comes out because the, the plug is coming loose you can see it's about two mil out of the um, block at the minute. I just want to see if it stabilizes. I think that's just going to keep dropping and dropping until it completely fails. It is just very, very slowly pulling the plug out of the uh, out of the block. Let's just keep going until it actually completely fails. And I think we've got up to a, a fairly stable 40 to 45 kilos there, I think, of force. Let's just keep going, see what happens. Here it goes. I'm 
just show you what's happening here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a hard thing to film, but you can see the plug's almost, I'd say, 50% out of the block. And the force is now reading about 26 kilos, but it's sitting there fairly stable at 26. I can't go any further than that because I've got all the way at the bottom of me um, thing. But that's... Let's just see if it'll wobble loose. That's it. Out. So, it's not done bad for a lightweight block like that. It's quite comfortably held at around 40 kilos. I wouldn't um, use a single screw in a lightweight block anything near 40 kilos anyway not a bad result for one little red plug right here we go with the brick now the only tricky thing with a brick is that obviously a lot of the brick is just air and obviously when it's part of a wall mortar would be down these little holes to a degree um, and it would be sandwiched around other bricks so this is a bit of a tricky test I'm not sure what's gonna happen it might just break the brick to be honest what I'm gonna try and do is get the plug kind of more down like where this bit of material is not into the one of the gaps because I think that'll just snap quite easily to be honest but let's try try and get it into one of these kind of gaps here so if we go around here so this is just a standard red household facing brick Okay, there. Oh, boy. Right, I knew this would happen. Bricks broke completely. But, I've got enough of the top half to maybe do a test just on this. I don't think bricks are gonna be particularly viable for testing, unless they're in a wall and they're held together by other bricks. You know what, I, I thought this might be a bit of a problem. We'll try it just on this one, but I'm probably not gonna do bricks on, on other tests. Let's see how it does it. This, to be honest, even just putting the screw in might crack the brick. Okay, right. It's not very stable since the brick's broken. The thing is with bricks is that they're very hard, very brittle, incredibly high compressive strength to bricks compared to blocks. But as I say, they are brittle. So when they're all sandwiched in a wall, that's not a problem. But when you've just got one on its own, if I can wedge something under that corner, like a wedge out of all the tests this would give the highest value if it was a test of a brick in a wall surrounded by other bricks alas I am not going to be uh, building a wall just to test a plug right here we go just take up the slack We're at 50, 54 kilos. What's happening at the minute is the chain's just bending a little bit. Let's just let that stabilize for a minute. Okay, we're fairly steady at 70 kilos there. I'm actually amazed. We're in we're in a half a brick here. There is no sign, obviously, of the plug moving. The plug ain't going to move in such a hard substrate. But we're into half a brick. How that brick hasn't snapped yet is beyond me. And we're at uh, a fairly steady 120 kilos of force. Comfortably past 200 kilos. 
on a single plug into a broken brick. See what we stabilize at. Again, the thing that's happening now is that the, the chain is bending quite a lot. Let's keep going. Felt something go there. I think it's probably the brick breaking. I just felt it suddenly get looser. Just see the plugs starting to come out. Yeah, that's gone. Cool. Not a bad one for a broken brick. So you can just see it has actually. I'm amazed it hasn't broke the brick. Screws bent a little bit, which made it a bit tricky to get out. But you can see the plugs come probably about five mil out. Just looking at the bottom of the brick there, there's cracks formed across there and down there. I think that's probably from when I was drilling through, to be honest. The, the SDS put so much force on the brick in terms of the hammer and action. Uh, it doesn't really surprise us that it's uh, broke the brick. But again, not bad going over 200 kilos there on one single little red plug. Not bad going. Interesting results, I think you will agree. Just to run through some of the specs of, of all this. But the blocks in the brick are the air rated block. This is, no, sorry, that's this one. So the air rated block here cost £2.28. It's a 3.6 Newton air rated block, standard size in the UK, which is 100 by 4, 40 by 215 mil. And the weight of it is 7.2 kilos. So 7.2 kilos gives a density for that volume of block of 760 kilograms per cubic meter. For what it's worth, it has a compressive strength of 3.6 newtons per square millimeter. The medium dense block, so that's this heavier one here, that one, the block cost two quid. It's a medium dense block, 7.3 newtons. Again, same size, but the weight of this is 15 kilos. So that gives a density of 1600 kilograms per cubic meter. Compressive strength of this one is 7.3 newtons per square millimeter. And then our old friend, the bog standard red household facing brick, cost 82 pence. Standard size again in the UK, 100 mil by 65 by 215. This weighs about two kilos, so it gives a density of about 1500 kilograms per cubic meter. And the compressive strength of the brick is 30 newtons per square millimeter, the really high compressive strength compared to blocks. 10 times the compressive strength of the, the lightweight block, which I've just chipped by breathing on it. The Fisher red plugs that I'm using here, it suggests that you use them with a four to five mil screw. I generally always use 10 gauge screws, which are five mil. And the quoted specs that it gives you, and by the way, these cost £5.49 for 300 of them, so they're about uh, two pence each. 2p for a little plug. So what it says for a concrete block is that it can withstand a force of 0.4 kilonewtons. Now 0.4 kilonewtons is a, a kilogram force of about 41 kilos. So 41 kilos on one single plug. Uh, that's the quoted. Now it includes a safety factor of seven. So I'm assuming that means it can withstand seven times 41, which would be what, 280, 290 kilos or something, which is probably closer to what we're seeing, to be honest. For the brick, it's saying that it can withstand a force of 0.28 kilonewtons, which is 28.6 kilograms of force. And for the air rated block, it's saying 0.05 kilonewtons, which is about five kilograms, 5.1 kilos. It's, it does say in the specs, 
that it includes a safety factor of seven. Um, but even there, that would mean 35 kilos. It went way beyond 35 kilos in the aerated concrete block. And it also says in the specs as well, that it's valid for tensile shear and oblique loads at any angle. So we've obviously been going for an axial load. In other words, um, the force of effectively pulling the screw straight out of the plug, which is probably the most force that you're ever gonna see on a plug because generally you're gonna be hanging th things on it. So the force is gonna go down. It's not gonna go out like that. So. If it can withstand that much force going in that direction, it's gonna stand way, way more going straight down because there's a block in the road. I'll pop the, the quoted specs versus what I measured below. So there you go, not bad results for one little red wall plug. Don't forget to hit subscribe because I'm gonna be testing out quite a lot of different fixings and you'll see them popping up in my YouTube feed over the coming months. Putting this to a bit more use because it's all very well going off spec sheets but it's much more interesting doing your own test and seeing what these things are actually capable of withstanding. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye! A whole section's just fallen off the lightweight block by the way. These things how you can build houses out of them is beyond me.